Right, hello everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Shh. Um, if I could just ask um, those of you who have got phones in their hands just to turn those off and put them in the pockets, that would be great. Um, and firstly, welcome. Welcome, welcome. It's so lovely to see all of you in here and um, to say hello to parents as well. It seems such a long time uh, when we had a sort of meeting of this sort. So welcome to, to Berkham. So welcome to the Centenary Theatre if you haven't been here before. And I'll try and be as concise as I can um, in terms of introducing a little bit about the trip, uh, what you can expect um, from us and what we expect of you as well. Um, so I'll just crack on straight away. Um, so the first thing is um, that we're going, we break up on Friday and we're going on the following Sunday. So you haven't got long to get yourself sorted, get those flip-flops, uh, make sure you've got the right size, find those sunglasses, all of that kind of thing, uh, before you are back in school again. We are travelling by coach. It's, um, we've got three coaches that are going off to, uh, to Paris. We've got one for the Year 7 and 8 boys, we've got one for the Year 7 girls, and we've got one for the Year 8 girls. So when you arrive, you will be uh, pushed into uh, the appropriate coach. And then we will be travelling across uh, the channel by ferry um, with p and And I'll tell you a little bit about that a little bit later on. So, this is something for mums and dads to do. It is a just-in-case slide. Just in case. Please, if you wouldn't mind taking a photo or scanning a copy of the photo page of your child's passport and sending it to me, I would be very, very grateful, and a copy of their COVID pass. If, can I just ask you to just be quiet and not talk for a minute, please, ladies, over there. If there's a change to your emergency or medical details, I really need to have that as well. And some, th some things might be due to an injury, so it wouldn't be on your file. But if anything has changed, then please let us know. And of course, if your contact details are different, so if parents, you've decided to take that opportunity to fly off to Barbados for a week, and actually, <laughs> um, you may not be around, um, and you've got someone else who you'd like to be the, the contact for your child while we're in Paris. If you wouldn't mind letting me have those details as well, um, just in case. So I'll be very, very grateful, and as soon as you remember to do that, um, I will sort of send you a reminder, but that would be really very helpful. So the first thing is the COVID pass. Um, this is correct as last night. <laughs> I am prepared, it could change again. But at the moment, if you are 11, and you're gonna be 11 on the trip when we go, you are exempt from having a COVID pass. If you are 12 and over, which is most of you, and you are double vaccinated, that means that you have had your second dose more than seven days before we go, if you've had an AstraZeneca, BioNTech, Moderna or Pfizer vaccine, or more than 28 days, if it's a Johnson & Johnson vaccine, if you will count then as double vaccinated, you will need to bring a printout of your COVID pass. Just in case your phone runs out of battery just in case. Let's have a hard copy and put it in with your passport, please. Hopefully, I'll also have a copy of it as well. Um, they don't accept the little cards, the little appointment cards that you get. So it must be the official COVID pass. Um, I have got a letter and it's got links. So if you haven't got a COVID pass for your, um, for your child yet and it's on your phone and you need to get that, you can obviously get it through the NHS app if you, are, if you have that on your phone. Um, but you can also just get it online through the NHS um, COVID pass service. Um, there's a link in the letter that you can collect at the end. So the other chunk of you will be where you've not been double vaccinated. So you may have had a single vaccine or you may not have had a vaccine at all. If you are um, in that category, 
then one of three things are acceptable either a certificate of recovery and for that you must have had a PCR test or a antigen test which is not a, um, an AHS one it's got to be one of those sort of fit to fly ones which certifies that you have had COVID between 11 days and six months of the day of departure or a negative PCR test within 72 days of, sorry, 72 hours of going, or the negative antigen test, which is the fit to fly test within 48 hours pre-departure. Those tests, unfortunately, do cost a little bit of money. I think they are coming down in price enormously and you can probably um, scout around for a, a, good, a good deal. Um, unfortunately, the NHS tests are not valid, valid for that. And then you will need to be, bring a printout of your certificate with you. So that's the sort of COVID deal. Who knows, it may change. They may lift it like, like the UK has, but if they haven't, please be aware um, that we'd like a smooth transition through customs and through um, into, into France as much as possible. So phones, uh, there's been a lot of talk from the students about phones. You are allowed to take your phone with you. There are some provisos there's no phones in rooms overnight. You will have that phone when you have lights out and the member of staff who does lights out with your room does lights out, they will collect your phones from you and they will then return them to you in the morning when they wake you up. Please, if you're taking a phone, be aware that roaming charges may be different in France as they, than they are in the UK and check with your parents as to what that means for you because they will appreciate it. <laughs> Therefore, um, if, if you follow what they'd like, like you to do, we have got free Wi-Fi in the hotel. So if you want to chat to them and you want to ch check in with them, then um, obviously you can do WhatsApp calls or messenger calls and things like that to catch up with them um, and that won't cost you anything. Please take care of them. I can't think of anything worse than a 12-year-old losing their mobile phone. <laughs> Literally. I've, I've gone through every possible permutation of risk assessment, and I'm not sure that I'm prepared for that. So please, please, please. Um, we've had a couple of incidents with mobile phones with some students re recently where students have not been very kind. Um, they've taken photographs without people's permission and they've shared them and it's caused a lot of upset. Um, if we find that that is the case in France, we will just take the phone off you and it will be confiscated for the rest of the trip. If you have had your phone confiscated and you need to make contact with your parents, you can use one of the staff phones, you can use my phone. So it doesn't cu cut you off from your parents, but you will do without your phone. If somebody is not very well on the ferry going over, they don't need a phone of them, a, pho a photograph of them, looking poorly, looking unwell, and then everyone sharing it and having a good laugh at them. So kindness is something that I really, really want to emphasize about phones. I know that we've got lots of very kind children, but sometimes even very kind children do stupid things from time to time. So please be aware that that's really what we expect. Hoodies! <laughs> so the hoodies are coming, they're all in order. The hoodies are coming. Um, they are being delivered in the last week of term. If they are around, uh, if they do arrive in good time, I'll try to get them to at least some of you uh, before we leave so you can pack them. Um, but if they don't, um, they, I've been absolutely assured by the hoodie company that they are coming and we'll just take them up, parcel them, put them on the bus and we'll give them to you when we get to Paris. So they're coming your way. Um, this trip is about bonding, it's about making a bit of music. Um, I apologise to the students who, whose photos are up there. Um, if you're um, one of those lapsed musicians or you haven't done a lot of music for a little while, this is an opportunity for you to enjoy making music together. Yeah. 
So hopefully um, we'll give you some good opportunities to do that. Um, we will be rehearsing a lot of the times in the morning and then sightseeing in the afternoon. And then there may be on certain nights some jam time for you to get into groups and for you to practice together and work on things. We are hoping to have an informal concert on the last night. Um, and so if you want to start practicing for things like that before you go, then that would be grateful. There's lots of practice rooms that are free at the moment after school. I think is that that's right, isn't it? music team so um, if you'd like to get something together um, then that would be absolutely great so this is our hotel <laughs> aren't we lucky <laughs> so You're going to have to pack a swimming costume, some of you. Um, we haven't got exclusive use of this hotel, so we will have other guests that are there. So um, you will have to be sensitive that it's not just your holiday, it's other people's holidays as well. Um, so just be um, aware of that. But it's a lovely hotel. It's just outside Paris. Um, and we've chosen it, haven't we, Mr. Melling, because we think that you'll be very, very comfortable there. The rooms, this is what the rooms look like. That's uh, um, at the top there, it's a bedroom, and that's one of your bathrooms. <laughs> look, it's going to be exciting, this bit. Shh, 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 shh. I know, it's very exciting. I'm excited. I'm excited too. Um, and there's places to chill out. I think that that may be one of the uh, function rooms that we'll clear of tables and chairs and we'll put our drum kits and our keyboards and things like that in there um, and make some music in there. And there's some places to chill out um, as well, um, both inside and outside. Uh, there's a little cafe where you can get your uh, little Diet Cokes waters, a little cup of tea, something like that as well. And I think that might be the dining room underneath. But it should be we should be really comfortable there. This is the bad news. It's a really early departure. P&O. <laughs> P&O ferries. Just bear with me, please, ladies and gents. P&O ferries, unfortunately, have had a lot of cancellations. Of um, There's been a bit of trouble with this particular company and um, crossings. And the original ferry that we were hoping to get has been cancelled. So luckily they have managed to get us on another ferry, which will get us to Paris in a pretty good time. But it does mean an early departure on a Sunday morning. So I'm really apologising to particularly parents who are going to have to try and weevil you out of bed <laughs> to get down here. Um, so thank you. Um, and I'll go through a little bit later what we expect you to do. We, we haven't got long to pack up the coach, jump on it and get down to Dover, but you will need to remember that when you, when you arrive, there'll be some, th some things that we'll need to get off you before you get onto the coach. I've got an absolutely no nuts up there. Um, we have got several, not just one or two, we've got several students who are extremely allergic to nuts. Um, if some of these students come into contact with, nu in, with nuts, it can create a very, very nasty reaction. They can go into what's called anaphylactic shock. They carry an EpiPen in case they do. And so we want to minimise the risk by making sure that none of you purchase or consume nuts whilst we are away. So that means making sure that you don't stick a tracker bar or something like that. Very often they do contain nuts, but look at ingredients and please be, um, please be very sensitive to that, especially if you're sharing a room with, um, with those people. And I will talk to um, the room share students who are sharing rooms with these students who have got these um, acute medical conditions so that you know what to do if you're worried. Oh... It's going to be such a smooth crossing. It's going to be a light day. It's going to be a mill pond out there. 
But if you're a bit seasick or you're a bit travel sick, please, please, please bring some medication with you. Um, we don't want anybody to be ill. Um, the ferry is a lovely opportunity for you to stretch your legs and things like that. Um, so I know that you'll really appreciate um, getting off the coach, doing some shopping, <laughs> looking around the boat, and all of that sort of thing. You'll have a great time on it. Sorry, that was, that was, that was the last Paris trip, Mr. Melly, Mr. Melly. <laughs> it's the coach. Um, we're due to arrive in, in Paris in time for our evening meal. Um, and I will put, I'll make sure that I tweet lots of things, uh, lots of pictures to keep everybody up to date. Oh, please, there's loads of seats over here if you want to just, I know that you're all sort of hovering on steps. If you're ha happy on steps, that's fine, but please, there's loads of seats, um, particularly down at the front if, if, you, if the offer's there. So, um, we arrive in time for supper and then um, we might do, uh, give you a little bit of chill time, time to explore the hotel. And then the next morning, we will be up and we'll do some workshops in the morning. And then we're off to the Louvre. Um, the Louvre is um, a very famous, a huge uh, museum of art and all sorts of things. Um, in the centre of Paris, it has the Mona Lisa and other famous works. I know that it's exciting, but I'd really lovely, really rather you didn't talk just for the moment so that everybody can key in and listen and share this and then talk afterwards, if that's all right. Um, and from there, from there, we will be going um, into our own little groups. Now, all of you are not going to be moving around Paris as a group of 139 students. <laughs> you will be split up into small groups, and each group will have a staff leader. And your staff leader and you, on this afternoon, will work out what things you might like to see and do in the centre of Paris. And there'll be a little time for you to have and explore. I've put some of the things, Champs-Élysées, you might like to do a bit of shopping or walk down there and see the Lac de Triomphe. Um, there are other things that you can see nearby the Louvre. There's the, the beautiful river, which you might want to sort of go down and have a river walk. There's some parks where you can chill out, get an ice cream. So there are lots of options that you can do, and you'll sort that out. And I imagine that lots of the groups are going to do different things to suit that group. So, and then what we'll do is we're going to then meet up at a restaurant. We're going to eat in shifts um, at a lovely restaurant called Flams. Um, which is right next door to the Montparnasse Tower. Now, the Montparnasse Tower, you can see here, is huge. It's one of the tallest uh, buildings in the centre of Paris. And from there, you get wonderful views of Paris and, indeed, the Eiffel Tower. You can see that uh, that's Miranda's story. One of our, that was her hands um, at the top there. Um, so, hopefully, um, you'll, we'll have a nice um, evening views of that. and There'll be some twinkly lights and things for you to enjoy that. So, we'll be going up the Montparnasse Tower right to the top. Um, and, um, and to take in those views before we, before we come home. So it's quite a long day. Day three, Disneyland! Yeah. There's a, there is a tradition. There is a tradition that uh, people get ears, apparently, as you can see from this group. This, these, these group of lovely ladies are now, I think, in year 12. Um, they don't look quite that cute anymore and sweet. They look all glamorous now, don't they? They're all glam, they're women. Um, this is a really long day as well. So you thought I had a long day um, on day two with the Louvre, walking around Paris and going up Montparnasse Tower. Uh, Disneyland will wear you out. It's great, great fun. Again, you will be with your group leader and you will be able to um, explore the park um, and hopefully your group leader will be there holding bags maybe if they don't want to go on roller coasters with you. I know a few definitely will go with you. Uh, I think Mr Melling, just talk us through that tower. The Tower of Terror. The Tower of Terror. <laughs> <laughs> the tower of terror. 
So there's, um, there's two parks. There's two theme parks there, which you can explore, um, uh, which, which are great. Lots of uh, fun rides to do, lots of things to do. Uh, we will also then be uh, going off to Planet Hollywood for our evening meal. And then we'll um, stay for the, we'll, sorry, we'll see the parade, then we'll go to pa Planet Hollywood, and then we'll come back and watch the firework display, the illuminations, which are lovely. They are very late at night, will be a late night, but I think you'll have a great time. And we are going to the Palace of Versailles the next day. So the morning we'll have a chance for a swim, more rehearsals, few workshops, fun music games, fun stuff. Uh, the Palace of Versailles is a really, a really spectacular palace. Uh, it was the centre of the uh, of the French court. Um, it really is um, amazing. It really is gold, is what it is. Um, it is amazing, and it's got beautiful gardens. Um, that room up there is called the Hall of Mirrors. Um, it, 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 it is really breathtaking. Uh, the students really enjoyed it last time we went. I hope you will too. Um, depending on how hot it is and how we feel, we will come back when we feel ready. And then um, in the evening, um, we will we'll, we'll get home in time for supper. After supper, there'll be some jam time. There will be some time for you to perhaps enjoy making music within small groups. We'll also have a quiz and we'll have some like evening activity um, that evening for you to do in the hotel. Day five, we'll be back in the centre of Paris. Unfortunately, I don't think Notre Dame looks like that anymore. It's my old photo. <laughs> um, but um, hopefully you'll still get to see uh, Notre Dame. Um, the Bateau Mouche is really lovely. Uh, it's a nice river cruise uh, which takes you, and you from the river. You can see lots of the great sights of Paris, um, which, will be, uh, which will be beautiful. Lots of Instagram uh, moments there um, for you. Um, and we may go in shifts on the Bateau Mouche. Um, and then after the Batamouche, again, you'll go off with your team leader and there are various things that you might like to do. You might like to walk around the bottom of the Eiffel Tower and see it a little bit more close up. You might want to go and um, just chill out in the Trocadero. It, it all really depends on the weather. Some of you might want to go and do some more souvenir shopping. You might want to walk up to Montmartre, which is um, absolutely beautiful, and possibly take in um, some of the other sites that we haven't seen so far, like the Sacre Coeur Basilica. So, and just get up and close and personal. So that will be, um, you'll be talking to your, 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 team, um, your team staff leader about how you spend the rest of that. Um, and then we will get back in time for a few, little last minute rehearsal. and an informal con concert. <laughs> Maybe some karaoke. And then uh, DJ Melling. <laughs> there might be some dancing. Might be a bit of a disco. Any requests, make sure you get them to him. And he'll make sure that uh, we've got some things. Like so that's day five. Um, because of the P&O ferry situation, um, day six, we may not have to be doing that day five. We may be doing that day six. Um, we will try to get you to strip out any litter that you managed to accumulate in your room and try and get it as tidy as you can. Um, but basically, that scene is probably going to be fr Friday morning. Friday morning is not a horrendous scramble. We've got time to make sure that we're packed um, in the morning. Um, I'm hoping that we will leave our hotel about 10.30 um, and we will be then making a, a reasonable ferry crossing. Uh, we arrive in Dover at 10 to 6 and it really does depend on traffic. I'm hoping that we'll get back about half past eight. I've put up there 10 to 9, but I will definitely be updating parents via Twitter as we go so that you, you're not hanging around. I know it's a bit of a slightly later finish than we had hoped, 
that again we were slightly um, slightly put out by the ferry situation if we are we manage to get an earlier ferry again I'll let everybody know and of course we will we will wait here till parents can get here um, so please don't worry too much about that um, but we'll keep you updated um, if we're running ahead or behind Oh, I love that scene. Um, there's no one, my husband, who's here today, um, who's coming on the trip as well, um, Mr. Gunnery, um, he, he, will, he will vouch the fact that there's no one more fussy than me. Um, um, so, but if anybody has got things that they can't eat, I've got, and they've got updated health requirements or dietary requirements, please let me know. I've got a good list already, but if there are any changes to that, just let me know. The hotel want you to enjoy your food. They, will, they don't want to serve food that you don't want to eat or you can't eat. So the more information that I can give them, the better. So just please let me know if there's any updates and just do that by, perhaps by email, I think rather than after the meeting, because like, you've all been sat here for quite a long time. Um, if there are any questions, there's going to be, uh, whenever I've said this to the students, I've been there for about an hour answering questions. Um, what I suggest we do is perhaps just email them to me, um, and then I'll look at all the questions, and then I will send back a frequently asked questions, and I'll try and answer them all together. So if you've got any questions, if there are any urgent questions that are particular that parents have got about their situation, then please feel free to come and see me straight, straight away. Or I know that some parents are picking up their children from Paris because they're going to be in Paris, which is lovely. So they're going to pick us up from the hotel. Um, and I've got those details, um, which, is, which, is, which is fine as well. So I think because there's so many of you, it's going to be a bit difficult to take lots of questions now. Um, but definitely e email me and I will definitely give you a response. So, I know, that's all. Um, what I was going to say, oh, let me just stop this. Otherwise, it's just going to wind me up. Oh, no, that, one, not, that one's no better. I'll leave it on that one. Um, I have got... A lot of the information that I've gone through in a, um, a hard copy here, but I'm going to email this out because it's got some useful links. So I will e be emailing that out tomorrow, hopefully tomorrow or, or over the weekend. We videoed this meeting for some students and parents who were unable to, to join us tonight. So forgive me, I will send that out. So if you wanted to listen to it, any, any of it again, you obviously can. But most of what I've gone through, or nearly all that I've gone through, is on this sheet. So there will be a digital copy coming to you as well. But I just thought sometimes it's nice to have a hard copy. You can stick it on the fridge and you can highlight things. Um, just before I go, a note about emergency contacts. The emergency contact for, um, for the trip is Mr. Hadcroft, who is the head teacher at the Senior Boys. Um, if there is a critical incident with you at home, or there's a critical incident with us on the trip, we will, he will be your liaison with me. And sometimes that happens. So... Please, 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 um, I know that some of you will have my school email number because it's on the bottom of my email. Um, that's not going to be the emergency phone and I won't be answering that phone if I'm dealing with a critical incident. So you will need to go through parents, you'll need to go through Mr. Hagcroft. Um, the, the way that this works is that he has that on 24-7 and he basically doesn't sleep for six days while he's waiting for your calls. But he will, I promise you, get hold of, get hold of me um, if there's something urgent. Um, so, um, uh, but I will be answering emails. Um, please don't email me at two o'clock in the morning unless it really, really is important. But um, please email me um, if, you, if you've got a concern about your child while we're away. Um, children, just one last thing. 
Your parents are not largely, are not going to be near you. So if you are feeling a little bit unwell, you need a, you're worried about something, please, 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 I don't want to hear that from your parents. I don't want you to have phoned them and then them, from them to phone me. So if you're not feeling quite right, you need a little bit of support, your parents are miles away, they're going to be worried and you're going to be worrying them and we're here, we're going to be there next to you to sort you out. So all I would say is use the staff who have all wonderfully volunteered to come with us on this trip because they are there to support you. And you'll only worry your parents because they will feel a long way away and they'll feel all a little bit helpless. But we, are, we will be there to support you. So if there's a problem, we want to hear it from you first. Of course, if there is a problem, I will contact your, your mum and dad anyway. All right? We're going to have a great time. Before I go, I just wanted to introduce all of you to all of us. So we are so lucky that we've got 18 members of staff coming on the trip. So you'll be split into your small groups. And if you don't know us, because some of you are not taught by us, I just want to introduce all of you. So if I can introduce um, my uh, trip assistant leader, who is Mr. Melling. So if Mr. Melling can stand up and give you a wave. And we've got, we've got the biscuit man himself. If you're, if you're lucky enough to be in Mr. Neutit's group, you won't go hungry. Mr. Neutit. <laughs> oh, no. And we're so lucky that Mr. Neutit is also going to be accompanied by his wife, Mrs. Neutit, who teaches flute with us. So Mrs. Neutit is fantastic. We've got... Dr. Redman, who's also a brilliant guitarist, if you didn't know that already. So Dr. Redman is going to come with us. <laughs> and awesome music teacher herself, Miss Valentine. <laughs> and from the drama department, oh, I've pinched him. I've pinched Mr. Curtis. We've been really lucky. I've also pinched from geography department. I've, I've only gone and pinched Miss Salis. Here she is. <laughs> now, you're not, you may not know her. You may not know her, but she, is, um, she works in the finance office. She's a fantastic clarinet and saxophone player, and we're so lucky that she's come to join us on the trip. This is Miss Hunt. So just give them a little wave, Miss Hunt. And we've, we've also pinched a, couple of, we've pinched a couple of people from the sports department who are going to basically make sure that we all keep fit and healthy. So welcome Mr. Hode and Miss Potts. <laughs> and we also have, um, we also have Miss Newlin. I don't know where Miss Newlin is. She's at the back. Miss Newlin. <laughs> We've got my lovely husband as well, who teaches maths here, but you will not necessarily know him because uh, he tends to teach um, up the other end of school. But Mr. Gunnery, who's going to be my right-hand man. And we, are, we have also got French teacher extraordinaire, Mr. Startin, joining us. He's not here today. And... Miss Galbraith, who some of you know as well. I know. And the wonderful, the wonderful Miss Leg as well. Which would be brilliant. I'm now worried I might have forgotten someone because I've forgotten who I've started with. Are there any other staff who I've, I've not forgotten to say? No, I've said everyone. So you have got the best dream team staff. 
Um, so look after yourselves. Email me those questions. And enjoy your weekend. We'll see some of you at proms. And keep in touch. We'll see you soon.